Hello folks, I just wanted to give you a bit of a testimony, a short testimony from uh, <clears throat> a time that I had in the hospital but before I do that let me just read a portion of scripture for a moment and it's in Hebrews 13 and verse 5 and it says let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things that you have for he hath said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. I remember in one of the nights, there was two nights particularly in the hospital when I honestly didn't know whether I would make it or not. I was under incredible pressure and I thought I was moments away from ending up on a ventilator and the nurses uh, and the doctors had hit me with all sorts of things and uh, got drips up and, and all that they needed to do. But I remember those nights particularly <clears throat> really crying out to the Lord and, and asking him to help me and asking him to somehow encourage my heart, somehow strengthen me, even supernaturally just do something that would encourage me and bring me through. And I remember the next day, I think it was the Monday or the Tuesday, and uh, I had a night from hell. <laughs> and that day, and that morning, when no one else, and you got to understand this in, in the isolation ward, when no one else can get in, when no one else, no pastor, no friend, no family members, when no one else was allowed in, God sent a cleaner. And all of a sudden this cleaner had come in, and there had been cleaners in before this, but this cleaner had come in and he was like a ray of sunshine and he began to chat to me and he asked me how I was and he began to talk to me and say to me <clears throat> about about hanging in there and then we got chatting and we got talking and he and he turned around and he, and, and he said to me that he was a missionary in Nigeria for 14 years and he began to tell me how God had saved many, many souls through his ministry. And how God had used him over the years to reach people. And here he is, now a cleaner. And he's encouraging my heart. And he's telling me about souls and about the love of Jesus and the love of God. And I'm just sitting going, wow. And the soul was encouraged as I listened to him talk about how Jesus had used his life to rescue the souls of men and how he had travelled. And then just this last couple of years he had found himself back home in Northern Ireland. And, and folks, when God, when God needs to reach you, he knows exactly who is the right person. And in that moment of time, it was a cleaner. When no one else could get in, God sent a cleaner. And you know what was incredible? He left that day and then he says this as he stood at the door. He says, son, can I pray for you? And I says, absolutely. And as he began to pray at the door, he couldn't touch me. <clears throat> As he began to pray at the door, he began to ask God the Holy Ghost to visit me. He began to ask God to heal my body and touch my lungs. He stood at that doorway and he pleaded with God Almighty to spur my life and to continue to use me. And then he left. And what was incredible was that after he left... <clears throat> He periodically would walk past my window and give me a thumbs up. And then that night, I remember, 
I started to turn around. Could it have been the prayer of a cleaner? I don't know. The Bible talks about a, ferv a righteous man of feeling in prayer. And that night I began to desire a packet of prawn cocktail crisps, potato. And I asked the Lord, because no one could get them. I, and I says, Lord, is it possible that you could get me a packet of prawn cocktail crisps and a tin of Coke? Because that night I began to turn. And as I, that night, lay and just asked that question, I says, Lord, I'd love a packet of prawn cocktail. The next day, the next morning, the cleaner came. And he brought in a bag. And in that bag was two oranges, ten of Coke, and a packet of prawn cocktail crisps. Tito, don't tell me that God doesn't know. God knows our every need. He knows every desire. And he just passed the bag through the door. He, he couldn't come in. And he just says, it's a gift from the Lord. I sat up. I had them crisps. God is a God, folks, who is personal. And he knows the deepest desires of our hearts. And he knows what we have need of. And you may think, and some people out there think, Pastor Lee, you're crazy. I am crazy. I'm crazy for Jesus. I want to encourage you out there today. God knows what you have need of. He knows your heart's desire. And he is an incredible saviour. Who even down to the finer details of life, when his son desired a pack of potato, prawn cocktail, God sent a cleaner to reach me. Folks, Never underestimate where God can use your life. Never underestimate what God can do with you. I thank God, and I'm finished. I thank God that he can use anybody, no matter their title, no matter their position in society. That God can use anybody to reach his people. I'll say it again. Jesus Christ is glorious. Thank you to that cleaner. You know who you are if you ever see this. Thank you for hearing the voice of God and reaching someone like me who needed a touch. God bless you, folks. And for you that are saved, keep your eyes upon him. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. And for you that doesn't know Jesus Christ, I would encourage you, lift up your eyes and look to heaven. And with a cry from your heart, say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and go home justified just as if you have never sinned. May God bless you and may you know the love of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. What a saviour. Amen.